Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to find Taylor expansion of a given function f of z is equal to e raised to z at point z is equal to 0. So let us note down the given function. We have, what is the function we have? f of z is equal to e raised to z. So we can find Taylor expansion if the function is analytic in a neighborhood of point z0. That means a given point. So e raised to z is always analytic function. So we can find it Taylor series. So clearly e raised to z is analytic everywhere in C. Okay, so it is analytic everywhere in a complex plane. So therefore by Taylor series expansion by Taylor series expansion, we can write f of z is equal to, so the Taylor series expansion is summation we have, n varies from 0 to infinity, right? We take nth derivative of f at particular point z0 upon n factorial and z minus z0 raised to n. So this is a Taylor series expansion at z is equal to z0, right? But see here the z0 that means the given point is 0. So let me mention here the point, the given point is 0. So that's why in a Taylor series expansion, we have to put z0 is equal to 0 everywhere. So let us see what will happen. Our f of z is e raised to z is equal to summation n running from 0 to infinity, right? nth derivative of f at 0, getting n factorial and z minus 0, that means z itself, rest to n. So this is a Taylor series expansion at z is equal to 0. Okay, let us expand it so we will get clear cut idea. I'm going to put n is equal to 0 first and 0th derivative, that means original function. So f of 0, 0 factorial, which is 1. So that's why I'll not write. And z raised to 0, that means again 1. So here 1 we will get, here also 1 and 0, uh, sorry, f of 0. So that's why we will have this one only. Let us put n is equal to 1. So the first derivative of f at 0 upon 1 factorial and z raised to 1, which is z plus n is equal to 2. So the second derivative, so you can denote in this way or simply you can write double dash of 0 upon 2 factorial z square, right? Plus third derivative of f at 0 upon 3 factorial z cube and so on. Okay, so this is Taylor series expansion. So let me call it as 1. So what will I do? I will find all these values and we will put in this equation 1. So let us do. We have some space. Let us use. So let us find all those derivatives one by one. So let me write. We have what is a function? Function is e raised to z. So let us find derivative. f dash of z. It's derivative. You know that exponential function derivative is same. e raised to z. Double derivative, right? The second derivative is also same. Third derivative, that is also same. Getting and so on and so on. So in this way, we found out all derivatives, higher derivatives. But see, we have to calculate the values of higher derivatives at 0. That means at a place of z, I need to put 0. Let us do, so implies f of 0. So at a place of z, we are putting 0. So e raised to 0 is 1. f dash of 0, e raised to 0, which is 1. f double dash of 0, same thing we will happen, e raised to 0, 1 and f triple dash 0 e raised to 0 1 by putting z is equal to 0 we are getting 1 okay and so on it will be continued then 1 becomes i'm going to put all those values in equation 1 huh? let us see what will happen the left hand side is e raised to z right f of 0 it is 1 we have got so let me write 1 plus f dash of 0 that is also 1 so this is 1, no? so let me write 1 upon 1 factorial z plus f double dash of 0, that is also 1. So 1 upon 2 factorial z square, 
Similarly, each derivative is 1. So, 1 upon 3 factorial z cube and so on. The same series we can write in this way. e raised to z is equal to 1 plus z. 1 factorial is 1 we know plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 4 by 4 factorial and so on. So, this is required Taylor series expansion of a given function e raised to z at z is equal to 0. So, series we have got finally. So, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.